Sagittarius. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little bit of tarot with you, Sagittarius. Sag. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your view. You know I do. Always take a minute of gratitude to thank my many, many Sagittarius that have blessed me over the years. Sad to have you ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form. Thank you so very much. So very kind of you. Appreciate it all, large or small. Gonna do some freestyling right here for the Egyptian art nevu. Uh, relationship spreads. They talk about home, work, family, the neighbors, the kids. I do got some love cards right here. You may want to stick around and see what the love cards have to say. You're thinking about love these days. I got my he said, she said clarifiers, my golden art nevu. I do got the little twister right here. That's huh? a fun one, man. The Mystic Moon Oracle. I'm going to give you a full spread. And we're going to top it off with the 22, a couple of cards from the 22 Major Arcana. From the Bowie, a.k.a. the Starman Tarot. Uh, Sunday's coming. This Sunday, the 31st, I'm going to give away a FaceTime Tarot reading. A couple of Tarot decks. Some t-shirts. 6 p.m. Eastern on Sunday night. If you want to play, if you want to put your name in the hat, just drop me a comment. I'll shoot you back the ticket. And uh, best of luck to all who enter. All that being said, Sandy says, let's play some tear around here. Let's play some tear around here, Sagittarius style. All right, all right, all right. Looks like we're going to have to cut the deck, so let's do it. Let's do it. Sagittarius. Relationships, Red. What's going on? Tower. Damn. Damn. Oh, but it's a good tower. It's a tower from a devil. <laughs> Sagittarius is firing the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Sagittarius firing the devil looks like the gods are getting involved in look at this ugly old devil right here man look at that ugly devil right there and that's a tower that's the gods getting involved in it right you know boom boom all right well we we got nowhere to go but up from here Sagittarius says the devil the devil's getting fired by the gods. <laughs> oh, what is this energy right here? Oh, my goodness, man. Right in the nick of time, too. What's going on around here, Sag? Anyway, the devil's getting fired by devil. Get the hell out of here, man. This energy got immediately sweet, Sagittarius. It's the Six of Cups energy. Are you thinking about somebody? Did this devil, did this devil try and get in the way of something sweet? That's Six Cups right there, Sagittarius. Wow. The Three Pins, that's a card of collaboration. You know, building a firm foundation. Oh, that's, no wonder the gods got involved here. I don't know what that devil's about, but it seemed their energy may have been trying to get into the way of something real sweet around here. Six cups. Maybe we're building with somebody. Maybe you were. Yeah, the lovers. Oh, the lovers showed up. Oh. The lovers just showed up around here. Who's this over here? See, somebody's having some kind of jailbreak over here, Saji. That's eight swords. And uh, they be looking, they be looking at the lovers. And they be looking at the lovers. And they be looking at three pinnacles. And they be looking at six cups. Oh. <laughs> and uh, they got the chariot on their mind right here. The chariot. I'm um, a major arcana. Big cancer for some of you. Um, 
the the chariot for me is about love messages from the gods to the people. Oh, somebody. Anyway, whatever this devil was about, man, the gods blew up their plan. I got somebody who was all wrapped up, you know. This is in the mind, you know. That's where the devil attacks, you know, is in the mind, you know. I see somebody getting free around here, Sagittarius. It's kind of fun, actually. There may be some movement here in the very near future with that chariot. Saggy looks like an old friend, maybe getting free. The gods came in here and blasted the devil out of the way. Yeah, Saggy. Saggy. Oh, hi, Saggy. <laughs> Here's my cup. Look at this, man. Look at this, man. Ooh. Ooh, the devil just seems to be totally gone, man. The devil's totally gone. <laughs> Oh, well, whatever this is, if you know him or if you don't know him, man, this talks about love coming in here. Yeah, look, the Hierophant. The Hierophant energy showed up. Well, the Hierophant trumps the devil any day. Any day of the week. Now, this uh, with the Hierophant coming out right here, uh, this is a very spiritual energy. Look at all these major arcanas. Yeah, as above, so below. Sag, you're pulling major arcanas in your story. That's a magician, as above, so below energy. Wow, and a death card. Another major arcana about death, birth, resurrection, and major transformation. Well, maybe the maybe the devil was doing the other ookity bookity crap, you know, trying to stop some real real sweet right here. That's so stupid. Backfire, boom, <laughs> boom, seemed to blow it up in the devil's face. Now I got somebody getting free from the free from free from eight swords, eight swords. That's you know, that's where you know these Jedi mind tricks. You know, that's so weak. That's so weak. Um, it looks like your friend is getting much stronger. Beautiful energy right here. Six of cups to three pentacles. So maybe something was going on. The lovers. The lovers. That's a strong connection. Seems to be some kind of tower on a devil. So that could be a backfire. You know, and somebody getting free. Somebody getting free, probably, from black magic. And the chariot, um, that's forward movement. And then came the lovers, or the lover, to a hierophant energy. You know, and then as above, so below, the magician, to a death card. Death, birth, resurrection, and major transformation in a love story, man. Wow. In a love story. Let's see what Golden Art Nebu wants to talk about. He didn't really talk about Sagittarius too much. It talked about, you know, maybe your friend who didn't know how to deal with Jedi mind tricks. But you know, I gotta just stop for a minute when we talk about black magic. It's definitely part of this realm that we live in. And um, it, can only, it can only attach itself uh, to a person in the area where there may be some shadow work that needs to be done in a light worker's life. Once you realize that that area, you know, all, all black magic does is really make uh, light workers very, very strong because it causes them to go in and do that inner work within themselves and root out that darkness within themselves, which shuts that door. When that door is shut, all that energy, 
all that low vibration of Jedi mind tricks is returned to the sender. And it sticks to them very, very easily because, well, whoever sent that kind of low vibrational stuff is nothing but a big ball of shadow work. So maybe the gods are going to be able to do something there. Anyway, return to sender tenfold times ten. I always love my mantra right here, maybe effective prayer. I take all energy sent to me. I alchemize it and I transmute it into a positive over my life. Tenfold times ten. That's the true power anymore. Anyway. Looks like there's a new beginning. Looks like there's a new beginning. Could be offered to you, Saji. Could be offered to you. Kind of quiet time with Source, my very powerful, powerful light worker that I'm reading for right here. Could be a new offer. Um... Uh, the gods got their lantern on a golden coin here for you because it looks like somebody's getting free. Somebody doing the shadow work and all that. Return to sender and all that because the devil's had some kind of tower. That is a, that is a, wow, and a star. Saji, what's going on around here? This is a love story showing up. The star, a lot of healing with that. A lot of promise from the gods right here. That four wands story. A four wands story that the devil's children tried to stop. Well, the problem about the devil, you know, is he turns on his own people that serve him. <laughs> anyway, best of luck to them right there. Best of luck to them right there. Because you got major arcanas all up on this right here. And there's some kind of offer that came in. Something that maybe was promised to you from source. And a star and a healing on a four of wands story. And here's your lover again showing up with their cup. Here's your lover showing up again with a cup. If you want it. If you want it. That's the Knight of Cups. Hi, Sagi. Here's my cup. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, another major arcana. The Pale Rider. Uh, this person's had a huge transformation in their life. They got to victory right here. They got to victory right here. And uh, it shows right there, this Gabriel blowing that horn of triumph about the lovers coming up out of the grave. It is a very, very powerful... Oh, and look at the solid, stable energy that came behind this, Saji. If this is resonating with you, that is the Knight of Ponies. Right? To the Ten of Pentacles right there. That is a stable energy right there. About a um, well, solid offer. A solid offer from somebody that wants to go all the way to the land of Ten of Pentacles with you. The little white picket fence and the big pink house. You know, a lot of spiritual warfare on here, but... Um, the victory is yours. The victory is yours after definitely in your friend too. Your friend definitely had major, major breakthrough uh, from what I can see right here. I wouldn't say they'd be all weak minded anymore after a, uh, after a journey like this. Let's see what uh, Mystic Moon Oracle has to say. Again, your call, your call, but um, I do like uh, the Knight of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles, you know. And the Ace of Pentacles, all the way to the Ten of Pentacles as well. Anyway, let's see what Mystic Moon Oracle has to say around here. Sagi Sag. Sagi Sag nostalgia. Sweet, <laughs> sweet thoughts. <laughs> More times are good, things are sweet, man. Oh, see, lessons learned. Ooh, your friend. They've had a major awakening. Again. I mean, I'm not afraid of black magic. Shit, I live in the age of Aquarius energy around here. You throw your shit at me. <laughs> I transmute it. I alchemize it. I empower it. Turn it into positive in my life. Thank you, boneheads. Anyway, but I've had a lot of experience six years on YouTube. Anyway, looks like your friend. 
They learned, man. They learned some lessons. This is really powerful, Saji. And they're following the guiding light. That's, that's a hermit card again. They're following the guiding light towards healing. Healing. A real victorious card right here. And, and a very powerful card as well. I mean, all my, my reads are timeless. And we got a huge, we are in a huge eclipse cycle right now. Um, as I do this, we just had the lunar eclipse. I believe it was last night and uh, August 8th is going to be that solar eclipse that everybody's talking about. Eclipses uh, eclipse people and things out of our life very suddenly and they can also eclipse people and things into our lives very suddenly as well. Is this you? This is out of a different deck. And I don't believe in coincidence. It's out of the Terra Illuminati. My independent, self-assured Sagittarius right here. Looking good, looking good, my friend. All tuned in with Source, stacking your coins. Oh, stacking your coins. Look at this, man. Stacking your coins. And, uh, well, could be getting ready for the next coin to come in here. That's right here. That's right here, Saji. That's right here. <laughs> Looks like it was a promise from Source to you. All right. All right. Give me a love card on here, Sagittarius. 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 Sag, 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 Sag. I love cards, Saggy. What, what, what's going on? Oh, wow, engagement. Your love life ascending to a higher level of commitment. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Those devils, they don't be thinking that they'd be doing light workers' favors, but if you look at it in a different perspective, they definitely are. They make you very, very strong, very, very wise, very, very spiritual. Not afraid to go in there and do that work. A soulmate. A soulmate. Saji. Engagement with a soulmate. And it does say, give it a shot. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. <laughs> There's a forgiveness card there, too. Your love life benefits as you forgive. Your love life benefits as you forgive. You know, I mean, these boneheads right here. Uh, that forgiveness card could be for them, but we never forget. But we don't want to take that toxic, dark energy into our life, right into our future right here. So, you know, we forgive, but we remember. Give me a major on here. Give me a major on here. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Ooh. That gorgeous lover's card just came out, Saggy Sag. There's only two of them. I see them in the heavenlies. I would see them reflected in the ocean of emotion. The bees. That's a Saggy Major Arcana right there. Archangel Michael, Temperance. A couple of soulmates in their hand. <laughs> Saggy, Saggy. Give me one more around here. Home day, home day, home day. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's the Pope of the Tarot deck right there, Saggy Sag. The old Pope of the Tarot deck right here about some lovers. Kicking ass and taking names. Yeah. All my love, Saggy. If you made it to the end of the spread right here, thank you. Thank you, my warrior. Appreciate you so very, very much. Um, if you're new around here, hopefully I've earned your subscription. 
As one of your tarot readers, if I have, smash that subscription right there, huh? Ring my bell, side to side. Hit that old I like Mike button, if you would. Appreciate that so very much. And if you want to play on this Sunday, the 31st, drop me a comment, and I'll see many of you on Sunday night, 6 p.m. All my love, all my love, my victorious warrior. May all your dreams come true. Love and light, Sagi. Bye for now.